Hello and welcome to the Soul Garden. This is the podcast for the Centre for Nature Connection, presented by me, Georgina Langdale, and it's where we get to explore the inner and the outer workings of living in a connected world. Well, hi there. I hope you're doing well. I hope your week has gone well. So today's podcast, I want to talk about a bunch of stuff that's been going on for me over the last few weeks, possibly even longer, but it's really surfaced for me this week. And a couple of days ago, I found myself literally sobbing at my computer going, Who am I? What am I doing? I've lost sight of who I'm talking to. I I had got really, really stuck. Now, I think that we can all relate to feeling stuck at times. You know, we ask ourselves questions like, who am I? And what is my potential? How do I, how do I figure that out? A whole lot of stuff like that. And I had that issue, but I, I want to give you a bit of backstory to it because, um, you know, getting stuck and losing sight of where we're going in life can kind of creep up on us. And we can often do things with the best will in the world, can't we? And then we go, well, what am I doing? Why, why am I doing that? So let me take you on a little story. Back in 2013, I set up my business Arceus. Now, Arceus, by the way, is a word that was created by a guy called Paracelsus, who lived in the 1500s, an amazing natural philosopher, physician and alchemist. And he said to heal and to do alchemy, one needs to work with the Arceus, which is the vital force that runs through us, nature and universe. And, you know, I quick, I loved it. I loved that, that oneness. So I called my business Arceus. And I started off making natural skincare products because I had a whole lot of training in herbal medicine. So I would apply herbal wisdom knowledge to making skincare products, really packed with beautiful healing, carefully selected healing herbs and things. And what started to happen was people would come to me and go, oh, I've got this problem or this or that affliction. Can you make me something to help with that? And and I would. I loved doing that. So my whole range evolved out of responding to people's needs. And that put me in my happy place. I love helping people. What then started to happen, though, was people who came for a cream or a balm or something started to stay longer for more things. So I seem to have a bit of a an ability um, to work with energy and healing. And I uh, would work with, with that with people. And in doing that, I, I did lots of training and coaching and things because I felt that I needed to add that into the mix to, to help get people helping themselves from A to B. So I started doing that and I was working, and I still do, uh, work with all sorts of people from people trying to figure out their own magic in life, you know, their potential and, and their creativity and their purpose to people in leadership positions looking for better ways or ways to be a better manager and leader, people rehabilitating after an accident, bereavement, divorce, you name it. So over time, this kind of coaching aspect and the energy work and things really grew. And so then, of course, I started teaching my natural carer training in and how we can support people through that end of life transition, how we can support people with a life limiting illness, or indeed, if you are that person, how you can navigate that pathway with real soul and, and love and how to make sense of the end point of life in life. 
and it, it's wonderful. I've got students now literally around the world and um, I'm about to open the next enrollment for the natural carer and I always look forward to seeing who's coming along next. Anyway, somebody came and saw me a few years back, a woman, and she said, look, I've gone through menopause and I've got this darn vaginal dryness thing going on and it's really uncomfortable and miserable and making me miserable and can you help? Can you make something? So I went, yep, sure, leave it with me. Did loads of research, try and made, and I just made this beautiful balm and um, it's called Nat Femme and it's been selling really well. So what started to happen was I started to get stuck because I found it really difficult all in one website talking from everything from connecting to plants to uh, death and dying to vaginal dryness in the same in the same sentence hmm it got unwieldy so in January this year I set Nat Fem the vaginal dryness balm I set it free I thought I'm going to put it on its own website, then it can talk about all the VJJ stuff it wants to, and that'll be brilliant. And then I can set the Center for Nature Connection up to offer, you know, the products and things that help us with that connection to nature. Now in January, that seemed like a really, really good plan. But here's the thing. I, I, I think I set up in my head like a, a partition. And soon roll on to October this year I just found it increasingly more difficult to know who to talk to I had done such a good job of separating these things in my mind that I lost sight of the connections of them and it all culminated in a few days ago with my head on my desk sobbing because I thought I don't know who I'm talking to anymore and then a little voice said, maybe you're looking at this the wrong way. So I thought, mm, maybe I am. And things started to get unstuck and here's why. So I'm a woman in my 50s. I've gone through menopause. I have need of vaginal dryness balm from time to time. I don't have children, but I do have friends who do. In the last seven years, both my parents have died. I've been helping friends who have got life-limiting illnesses. I've helped other fam you know, people care for family members who are unwell. I've tried to find an outlet for my creativity uh, beyond work. I've tried to figure out the pathway for work. I've wondered about life balance while never getting enough of it. And I realized that all of these things are intertwined and when we hit this sort of midlife point we kind of get squished from all sides and when things change like a, a relationship ends a partner dies or, or leaves parents get ill you know we're all suffering this stuff so I realized with my head on the desk sobbing that I had been trying to separate everything out when actually the people that I think I can really show up for are, are people like me. <laughs> you know, we, we have all of this stuff going on in our lives. And really, I don't think any of us are superheroes. I'm certainly not. But we can reach out and find ways to help ourselves through this. Oh, <sighs> you know... It's so bleeding obvious, but sometimes it can be so hard to see this. So here are some questions that I've asked myself or I've had people ask me lately, and maybe you can relate to them. So we've got things like, um, who am I? What is my potential? I've got this dream, but I, I don't know how to get there. I need to m shape it more. My relationship has ended and, and I need to kind of rebuild myself to set out on life on my own. And that scares the hell out of me and it thrills me at the same time. But I just, I need some help 
to help me getting back up on my feet and moving forward again. I've got a friend who has cancer, how can I help her? I haven't made enough time for me how, and I don't know how to do it. How do I do it? Um, I know that I'm in my head all the time and I, I need to get connected, you know, like I'm disembodied. I want to get back in my body. I want to be connected to earth. I'd love to be a painter. I'd love to be a writer. So many, many questions. So many stuckness moments. You know what I mean? So how do we unstick ourselves? For me, the first question I asked with my head on the desk was, are you looking at this in the right way? Or maybe is there another way to look at this issue? Looking at another way was really, really helpful for me. And how I did that was I realized I'd been looking at things from I've got all these different offerings and products and stuff. And I was looking at it from that perspective, not at who is the person that might benefit from this. So once I started to think about who that person could be, that's when I started to see all this commonality, this kind of midlife stream of stuff that we deal with. Then what I did is I actually went back into my own medicine. So I do this thing called True Nature Renaissance Readings. It's like I'm being Ficino, this guy, Massilio Ficino from the 1400s. And when he worked with a client, he would look at their astrological chart. He would find their resonances, their sympathetic vibration in nature and cosmos. So that sounds kind of airy fairy but actually what it does is it gives you a way of kind of seeing yourself reflected back his approach helps you be seen it helps you see your gifts it helps you see your magic and that is so liberating and unsticking now that can actually really really help in a really practical way for example, I know I'm a bit of a loner. I, I love people, but I think I'm also quite shy. So I find it really hard being kind of in cliques or groups and things. It makes me feel, um, well, I, I start to feel really, really vulnerable. And when I looked at my own chart in the way Ficino would have done, that was writ large on it. So my work that I do, I've set it up to help me um, find my happy place. And that's made a huge difference. So we do things like that. I look deeply into nature and, and I, I kind of seek messages. Even, you know, the seasons, there's a time to germinate ideas. There's a time for growth. There's a time for cutting away the things that just aren't working anymore or aren't serving us well. And there's a time for stillness. So what I've really found is that we can get completely stuck, but there are ways of getting unstuck. And I would really love to be able to help you get unstuck. You know, I've got a whole bunch of stuff on my website and, oh, you know, I'm trying to write more and more stuff <laughs> to help with stuckness. How do I find my potential? How do I find my creativity? How do I care for my mother who has dementia and is kind of disappearing in front of my eyes? How do I feel secure that even though my daughter has flown the nest, those bonds between us, mother and daughter, are still really strong. How do I build the confidence to manifest the creativity I, I know is inside me, but I, I just am a bit scared to take that first step? These are all really common questions, really common issues that we all at some point in our lives either 
um, are dealing with ourselves or we know someone who we love dearly who may be dealing with them. There's a kind of huge irony in this as well because, you know, on the Centre for Nature Connection, I talk about oneness all the time. And when I looked at what I'd done with my business, I had created complete duality. Nat Femme over there, Centre for Nature Connection there. And I wasn't talking to anybody really because I was sort of stuck. I don't know where I was, somewhere in the middle. So my lesson that I've learned and that is what are the things that really matter to me? And for me, one of them is the sense of oneness and connection. So let's get connected. So for me, from now on, I am seeing the shared themes and common themes that come up in our lives. And I'm hoping that my contribution to all of this is to maybe give you some things that um, you may resonate with to help you through this stuff. Maybe uh, you just need the vaginal dryness bump, or maybe that you want some coaching, or the idea of seeing your garden as a place of healing is really enticing. Maybe you learn about that, or whatever it is. I don't know. I don't want to sell you a whole bunch of stuff here. We're all trying to get through life, aren't we? You know, we all want to do it in the best way we can. We all want, I think, in our heart of hearts to help people in the best way we can. We feel good when we know that we've made someone else feel good, you know. So let's help each other along with that. Who am I? What are my dreams? What are the landscapes I resonate with? Where is my happy place? What is the legacy I wish to leave behind? These are just some of the questions to help moving from stuck to unstuck. If you have any thoughts on this, anything you'd like to share, anything you'd like to get in touch with, just drop me a message. I'd love to hear from you and I will respond. Thank you so much for listening and I really wish you beautiful unstuckness for the week ahead. You can find my offerings at georginalnature.com for Centre for Nature Connection. And if you're needing the stuff for the old JJ, you can find that a link to that there too under the shop page. Okay, see you later. Bye.